Hello everyone, this is going to be a video part 9. So in this video here I will explain how to time the engine. I have swapped or upgraded the camshaft. You can see it does not a stock camshaft. Um, I have rebuilt the top end. There's new cylinder the head. Yeah, the lot. Um, so yeah, there's camshaft as well. All sorts of things, bolts, nuts. You on you so this this here you 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 need to do when you are doing for example a big bore upgrade bigger CC on this bike or upgrading camshafts or, or 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 doing some work with the head for example there are pe people who had a valves drop on this road engine so yeah um. Looking by the book, there's you can focus, there's the image, you can see uh, this line here on the camshaft end should be in line with the left hand side of the casing. So you can see, you can put the phone there, if you can focus, this this line here is a bit lower than it should be, so it's out. So what you need to do is, the first thing first is you need to find the timing mark. There it is. And you spin around, <laughs> there will be like two or three indentations in, in the flywheel. Those are not the timing marks, the timing mark is that. It's like a round thing or like a triangle. Yeah. And one of one of the other ways is how to make sure that it's a DDC top dead sensor. Take a screwdriver and stick it into the sparkle hole. But so when it when it actually comes up, because it's you need to chop it there at the, at the DDC, like make resistance. Because when you are making it go around with the spanner, and this is the 15 millimeter socket. As soon as it reaches the DDC, it wants to jump over it and stay and, and like and stay after just just the after the DDC, yeah. So so you need to make it so it's actually at the DDC. So it usually wants to jump over that that point. So the first thing was you need to make sure that it's at the DDC on the um, mark on the flywheel now. Um, camp shot, camp shot needs to come out so that the camp shot is loose so you'll be able to jump the teeth. And yeah, uh, DDC, camp shot tension is out. Now I'll mount the phone back into the holder and I'll show you this is my way. What I'll do is you pull off the shot gear and now what I need to do is if you can see I will lift my panel lower and I will lift the chain slightly up on the right side and advance one two so carefully I will, I'm holding the chain and well, I don't know if you were able to see it, but yeah, 